Welcome again friends. Uh, in this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the general or introductory video about the DNA or RNA synthesis inhibitors. And among this DNA and RNA synthesis inhibitors, so let me talk about the mode of action in this case uh, will be the DNA. So let me write DNA. Sorry, what, what a bad handwriting this is. <laughs> it should be DNA and RNA synthesis synthesis inhibitor DNA and RNA synthesis inhibitors okay and the example that we are going to talk about that the class uh, that we are going to talk about remember we are having class and example so the class we are going to talk about is uh, fluoroquinolones fluoroquinolones okay uh, spellings are kind of tricky anyways fluoroquinolones are the type of uh, the name of the class and the antibiotics that are uh, in the in this example examples are ciprofloxacin so let me write ciprofloxacin remember all of these fluoroquinolone antibiotics are having a common in name and this naming is common at the terminal that it is end with cin c i n e so ciprofloxacin let me write gatifloxacin gati Fluxacine. Then we are having levo, levo fluxacine. Then we are having oflo, ofloxacine. Not it's a fluxacine, ofloxacine. Okay, that's a kind of different, except for that norfloxacine. So all of them are having kind of fluxacine at the term. So ciprofloxacine, gatifloxacine, levofloxacine, norfloxacine, and ofloxacine. Okay, so these are the example of the fluoroquinolone antibiotics. Now, the fluoroquinolone antibiotics are usually taken to treat, uh, to go against mostly gram-negative bacteria. Mostly gram-negative bacteria. Now, among the gram-negative bacteria, what, what we are having, the infections we are having in gram-negative bacteria are enterobacter, enterobacter, and also we are having, uh, let's say, E. coli, as gram negative so which are the major gram negative bacteria which are causing infections in our UTI as well as in our, in our GI tract right so usually they are against but they can uh, go against some some uh, gram positive bacteria some very few against some bacteria not all very few okay mostly they are used for gram negative bacteria treatment now in this case a very very important property for this fluoroquinolone antibiotic is that uh, they are uh, having a very very good oral absorption so i must write these properties whenever i get some properties so very good very good oral absorption oral absorption so that's a very important and very good point very good oral absorption but what's problematic about them is that uh, so so is is that that they can bind with calcium and magnesium this ion so let me talk they can bind so can bind this antibiotic can bind with calcium or magnesium so as they can bind with calcium and magnesium in this case so they can a kind of attach to them and the activity of this antibiotic when the antibiotic is attached to kind of say magnesium for example so the activity is getting decreased now as their activity is getting decreased it is not recommended to take them with any kind of component which contains calcium and magnesium in it for example antacids like so milk of magnesia antacids and all these things that can contain calcium or magnesium so it is not recommended to take this antibiotic this fluoroquinolone types of antibiotic with either milk or antacid so if we take them with antacid or milk it will reduce the activity of this kind of antibiotic so this is very very important so if you are taking fluoroquinolone antibiotics you should uh, take care of uh, this property of uh, these antibiotics okay now the therapeutic use for this antibiotic usually from a simple use towards a normal uh, better use like headache uh, or we can say uh, so we can we, we can usually uh, we can use against them uh, for for respiratory tract infections. So let me write. So we can use against respiratory respiratory tract infections. So we can use them against art infections and bone and joint infection. Bone or joint infections. Okay. 
bone and joint infections we can also uh, use them against diarrhea that is which is a very major gastrointestinal problem so against diarrhea okay and we can also go against different UTI or urinary tract infections we can go against skin infections skin infection now one another very important thing about these fluoroquinolones uh, are that fluoroquinolone antibiotics they are a kind of uh, as I have told you the DNA and RNA degrading antibiotic right so it's not synthesis inhibitor actually so I must write it here it is a degrading DNA RNA degrading antibiotic so it will eventually degrade the bacterial DNA or RNA right so uh, there is a chance of degrading our host DNA or RNA right but it never occurs so that is another very major advantage and the advantage is it does not does not damage does not damage host DNA or human DNA that is a very very important advantage to use fluoroquinolones type of antibiotic okay so we can use them for respiratory tract infection, bone and joint infections, diarrhea which is a, a GI tract infections. We can use them against UTI, a skin infection as well as we can use them against uh, the STD or sexually transmitted diseases which are caused by uh, different uh, bacteria and spirochetes and all this, all of them, right? So we can go against various kind of infections. So uh, degree of uh, this, this uh, use of fluoroquinolone is very vast right but there are also side effects associated with them and side effects are milder like headache fatigue nausea vomiting uh, sometimes can cause diarrhea itself too so uh, so so headache so let me write headache is there sorry for the handwriting headache is there fatigue fatigue uh, can be resulted nausea can be there so let me change the color otherwise it will look bad nausea can be there constipation constipation okay and it can also result in different rashes uh, in your skin and fever chill so let me write fever chill which is uh, all together rash can form okay and restlessness can be another part of it uh, so vomiting and also diarrhea so diarrhea okay so these are the different side effects that can be caused but you can see that uh, these fluoroquinolones are having several a degree of advantage so we can use them against many different kinds of infection but there are some kind of side effects so we need to treat them we need to take uh, care of this fact that they are not causing much more side effect in your body so you can treat uh, the, the, the amount of antibiotic dose is very important to minimize these side effects right so it's it's depending upon your physician your doctor that uh, what what amount of dose you are susceptible with what amount of dose you are okay to take with then uh, the uh, then the administration of all this okay so in a sense that's the introduction and i hope that's helpful thank you